Jaguars in Mexico are growing in number, a promising sign that national conservation strategies are working. Here's a summary of the article. Conservation strategies targeted the most urgent threats to jaguars and prioritized protecting wildlife preserves and natural corridors. Mexico's National Alliance for Jaguar Conservation united the government, people living near protected areas, and the private sector in plans to conserve the iconic species. The news confirms that Mexico's national strategy to protect jaguars is working, researchers reported recently in the journal PLOS1. It was incredible to see jaguars in so many places where there weren't any before, said ecologist Gerardo Cebolos of the Universidad Nacional Autónoma de Mexico, founder of Mexico's National Alliance for Jaguar Conservation and lead author of the paper. Ecologists had never properly counted jaguars in Mexico before, making it difficult to design a conservation program in the iconic cat's northernmost ranges. In 2022, the Mexican government and the National Alliance for Jaguar Conservation planned to expand the Calakmul Biosphere Reserve in the southern Yucatan Peninsula from 723,185 hectares to more than 1.3 million hectares of land, making Calakmul the largest protected tropical forest north of the Orinoco River all motivated by jaguar conservation. Beyond words, from jaguar population trends to conservation and public policy in Mexico. This post received a score of 29,000, with an upvote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Good I guess, at least something is working. Soon jaguars will take over and will eat us smiley face. I'd love to get eaten by the cutie in the photo. Until it's eating you guts, asshole first. Phase how they feed. Cute but not. I think that's pretty nice of them to eat ass first, nothing like a good rim job before being eaten. You have your salad before the meal, right? Exactly. I'm amazed they can see jaguars at all. They're famously quite sneaky. Way back in the day I researched how people could help jaguars, and the idea was to reintroduce them to the American side of the border since tearing down the border fence was political suicide. Jaguars on their historical hunting ranges in America would create a population that poachers could never get to and protect jaguars from extinction. It was still denied because America called jaguars a foreign animal even when they used to roam America centuries ago. Greater than it was still denied because America called jaguars a foreign animal even when they used to roam America centuries ago. What the fuck, they're native to Jacksonville. I hope we start seeing them more in Alta California. They used to be common up to at least Santa Cruz not that long ago. Now, they've all but disappeared. They could probably also help take care of those annoying coyotes and deer and annoying children. UHM. One of those is not like the others. I know right. Deer tastes much better than the other two. I dunno dude. I see deer. I think prions. No thanks. Glad to find someone else that shares my prion fears. Haven't felt the same since I read up on why we can't harvest human growth hormone anymore. Please do elaborate. I did a much deeper dive into this while working for a company that was involved with HGH, but here's a rough summary. From the 50s to the 80s, people who needed human growth hormone would be given HGH from cadavers, until it was discovered that some dead donors had HGH which contained prions. Harvester HGH was pulled together from different bodies and supply mixed globally, so the entire world supply was basically contaminated. Now we have synthetic stuff that is safe but we are still seeing people dying of prions several decades after their exposure in that human harvesting time. Here's a link to the first decent article one googled, prions are very hard to destroy, and I don't know if any effective treatment exists I think once you start showing symptoms you're pretty much screwed, and there isn't any pre-symptom treatment either I believe. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.